Hi, welcome to Northern Whimsy Art Studio. My name is Andrea, and this is the Halibut Mosaic Kit video. Um, with your kit, you're going to receive three cups of glass. You're going to have one with turquoise. It'll have a little piece of chain in it, uh, a cup of the gray, and it'll have um, the eye, or one of the cups will have the eye. It'll be in the, with the chain, so it'll be in the turquoise, and then a cup of purple. Uh, you'll also have some glue and a popsicle stick. In your kit also is a cup of grout and a sponge. Those will be used for um, the grouting portion. And you can watch the video uh, for the dragonfly to show you how to do the grouting. Um, the process is going to be the same for both kits. Um, it'll have a popsicle stick to stir, stir the grout as well. And that will all be shown. Make sure that you're waiting um at least at least five hours for your glue to dry but really the next day is great 12 hours is really ideal to let your glue totally dry on your piece so that you can come back in and grout um and your glue be dry not included in your kit is should is a pair of rubber gloves you're gonna need a pair of rubber gloves and also a pencil to draw your lines so for my halibut i'm going to um, get my basic lines drawn on it so I went ahead and drew, so I just find a place where I want to make his head and I'll draw his head on. And then I want to give him some fins or the outside where his fins will be. So I just kind of make a line along there and then a line along the bottom for the bottom part of the fin. And then I just kind of give him a basic squiggly line. That's going to change a little bit because I'm going to use my chain in that area to make that line and then just cut off his tail. There, I draw off his tail. Um, and that's all it is for drawing in my lines. The rest of it, I'm going to use the glass to make my definitions. So, um, just some safety with the glass. Obviously, if glass is sharp. Be careful when handling it. This kit is recommended for ages 12 and up. Um, you can use your judgment on that with with kids and cutting their fingers on the glass. Um, also, don't when you're doing your grout, make sure you don't wash your extra grout down the sink drains. It will clog your drains. Okay, so to get started here on this guy, I am going to start with putting the chain on. So I'm gonna start there. So I'm going to put some glue on him. You don't want the glue to be so thick that it comes up over the pieces, but you want it thick enough that it sit, the pieces sit down into it. So I'm going to fill in kind of a line here. I'm not gonna fill in this whole area because I won't be able to work it fast enough for my, without my glue drying. So I'm just gonna kind of get a line here of where I know my chain will sit. So I'm gonna start with it right at the edge and I'm gonna make it kind of swirl. I don't want it to be straight. And I want it to end right here at his tail. I'm trying real hard not to get a bunch of glue on it keep the glue under it. Okay. So that's going to be my line for my halibut. I'm going to make that a little more careful not to roll it around a bunch because you do not want the glue to be on top of your, be on top of your chain there. You'll see it a little bit. So you can kind of scrape it off a little bit. It's easier just not to get it on there. So I'm going to start with my purple. So I'm going to go in the places that I have my glue. And I'm picking pieces that have some curves to them. I'm gonna put them in around that chain. So looking for ones that curve the right direction that I'm looking for here. And then just filling in with glass, kind of like a puzzle. I don't like that piece there, so I'm gonna move it over here. So I'll just keep working to fill that space in. Mm, I have a hard time finding the exact right piece that I want. Okay, so I finished the purple. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start on the gray on the other side. So I have a little bit of glue here, but it's starting to get a little dry. So I'm just going to kind of scrape it up so it's level. And I'm not going to fill in too big of an area because I don't want it to dry before I get to it. So I'm just going to go about like that. And I'm going to start to do the same thing and fill this side in with gray. And you can swap up your colors with this and get creative with it. You can even add in buttons and other fun things if you if you have things around that you'd like to add into your mosaics. It's always fun to add your own personal touches to these. And I'm just following that bead line there and making that my uh, definition between the two between the two colors and leaving a little bit of space there. And I just filled the glue into the line for his fin. I left it from there. And just doing the same thing, filling in all around. Okay, so the gray is done. I have the gray finished here. And now I'm going to start on the fins and finish those fins. So I'm gonna fill those in. Try to keep the glue off the side there on top. The glue does dry clear. Still wanna try and keep it off of those areas. So this one gets a little trickier because I'm going to try and follow both these lines in here. Um, try and follow, create lines for to define between the gray and then follow that outside line as well. So. Place and pieces. And I'll just keep working along this edge. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the turquoise on this side. I'm going to go ahead and finish the turquoise on this side now and get that finished in. So I'm just filling it in with glue. Okay, so I have all the turquoise done here, the gray done, and the purple. I'm going to go ahead and start on his face. And so I've got the glue on his face here. So I'm going to go ahead and place his eyes. And halibut are kind of wonky fish. They are bottom feeders in their eyes. You can see both of their eyes. So I'm going to do two eyes just like that. And kind of to the edge. I'm not going to center them because they're kind of... They're not centered on their face. And then I'm just going to start working around his eyes there. And then keeping that line, leaving a little gap in between the glass and keeping that line there between his face and his body.
Okay, and finally, I'm going to finish his tail. I'm going to do the gray down here on his tail. Um, then that's the final step on this. So I'm going to wait after that and go ahead and grout. Uh, again, the grouting video, you can just follow any of the other grouting videos. I'm going to recommend the dragonfly grouting video. Um, it, all the grouting processes are, are pretty much the same. You're going to lay your grout on and then you'll wipe out around the, around the pieces that you want to come out. Um, I really appreciate your support, supporting local and uh, for buying these kits. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, message me or email me. The numbers are provided on your information sheets that you get when you, um, or the information is on the sheets that you get when you get your kits. Uh, thanks so much and I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.